How to install APK files on iOS devices. Hey everyone, if you've ever tried to install an APK file on your iPhone or iPad, you probably realized it's not that simple. That's because APK files are designed for Android and iOS doesn't support them. But don't worry, I'll explain why that is and what alternatives you can use to get similar results on your iOS device. The first thing to understand is that APK files are built for Android, which runs on Java-based software iOS, on the other hand, doesn't support Java in the same way, which is why APK files simply won't work. However, iOS has its own version of APK files, called IPA files. These are the app packages designed specifically for iOS devices. So if you're looking to install an app that's not available on the App Store, you'll need an IPA file instead of an APK. Now here's the tricky part. Unlike Android, where you can simply tap an APK file and install it, iOS doesn't allow direct installation of IPA files. If you try to open an IPA file, you won't see an install button like you would on Android. That's because Apple has strict security measures in place, and installing apps outside the App Store requires a process called sideloading. To sideload IPA files on your iOS device, you need a sideloading application. Right now, one of the few free sideloading apps available on the App Store is Delta Emulator. Delta Emulator is mainly used for sideloading games, not regular apps. Once installed, open Delta Emulator and tap the plus icon to add files. If you have an IPA file for a game, it will appear in the file browser. Select the IPA file, tap open, and the game will be added to your Delta library. If you're looking to install non-game apps, the process is more complicated. There are several methods involving third-party tools and developer accounts, but since there are already many tutorials on YouTube covering this, I recommend searching for how to sideload apps on iOS to find a step-by-step -step guide. I hope this video helped you understand why APK files don't work on iOS and what you can do instead. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like this video and drop a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and have a great day.